Good morning, everyone. We welcome you once again to Strength for Today. Our subject today is don't blame God. Now, you know, I'm sure that everyone is aware of the events that has been taking place recently, uh, all of those young people that was killed there in Texas. It was something like 19, and then two uh, teachers also killed. And destruction that's happening throughout the land, the world, the war in Ukraine. I, it just different things are happening everywhere. And a lot of people are blaming God for it. Or if they're not blaming God, they're saying, well, why did God allow it? Why did God allow this to happen? Well, you see, God is not the author of it, and he's not the one behind it. Amen. But it is it is the works <clears throat> excuse me. It is it is the works of the devil. See, Satan is the one behind that. Satan is the one that comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Uh, and, and it's not God. God is not the author of it. But God get blamed for a lot of things that he didn't he did not do, nor is he behind it. Amen. Now uh, in the scripture, we see that in James chapter 1, verse 16 and 17, it says, Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of light, in whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. So every good gift and every perfect gift, it cometh down from the Father of light. It cometh down from heaven, good and, and and perfect comes from God. Not not evil, not sickness and disease. See, some people believe that God is trying to teach uh, somebody something in all of this. But saints of God, we must realize that God is not a killer and God is not behind it. Amen. And 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 really, really well, some people say, well, why does God allow it? Well, see, in reality, God is not allowing it. Now, we have to we have to go back to the book of beginnings. There's a reason why uh, these things that are happening. Why are they happening like this? Now, if we go back to the book of beginnings, that's the book of Genesis. It says, and God said, let us make men in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every, th- every creeping thing that creepeth up on the earth. So God, I want you to pay very close attention. God gave man dominion over all of his works of his hand. Everything his creation, God gave man dominion. And over in Psalms, we see this in 115, in verse 16, it says, The heavens, even the heavens, are the Lord's, but the earth has, has he given to the children of man. So God gave man the earth. Amen. He gave man the earth. He gave Adam dominion over the very works of his hand, over everything he created. Now, but God spoke to Adam. In the garden. Now, notice what he said here in, um, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. And, it, and, and notice what God said. And, and God commanded, this is in Genesis, and God command, commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. That's in Genesis two sixteen and 17. So he told him that he could eat of every tree in the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. See, the tree itself was not bad. It, but the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. In this, we can see that God only wanted us to know good. He did not want us to know evil. Amen. But Adam disobeyed God. And so when Adam disobeyed God, he really, he turned over that authority, that dominion that God had given unto him. He turned that over to the devil. 
because he disobeyed God. Now, you remember he said, in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. We must understand this. Death did not exist prior to Adam eating of that tree, prior to Adam disobeying God. Death, sickness, disease did not exist. It did not exist. But when Adam disobeyed God, when he, when he disobeyed God, then mankind fell. Amen. All of these things came into existence, sickness, disease, and all hurricanes, storms, tornadoes. All of these things came into existence because of the disobedience of Adam. And see, what God did, God, God had given this to man, and God is such a just an honest God. He's not going to give you something and take it back. And so by Adam disobeying God, then certain laws came into existence because of the obedience, disobedience of Adam. Amen. God, and, and, and when Adam did that, Adam gave it over to the devil. And that's when sickness and and, her, and we start seeing hurricanes and tornadoes and all those things came in existence. Now, if we look at in, in the Gospel of St. Luke in chapter 4, four and, and, and we especially want to pay very close attention to uh, verse 6. It said, and the, the and the devil taketh him, this is Jesus, being led by the Spirit into the wilderness. He said, and the devil taketh him up into a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, all this power will I give thee in the glory of them. But that is delivered unto me. And to whomsoever I will, I give it. I hope you notice that, he, that what, the, what the devil said. He said, and in the glory of them, he give it to him. He said, for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will give it. So Adam made the delivery. Satan had it. Satan had it to give. And he said, for it was delivered unto him. And how did, how did he, how was it delivered? It was delivered unto him when Adam disobeyed God. And, and the devil said unto him, I will give you, this is from the uh, Amplified, the same verse, verse 6. And the devil said uh, to him, I will give you all this realm and its glory, its power, its renown, because it has been handed over to me, and I give it to whomsoever I wish. So he was saying that he got this, uh, that it was given to him. Amen. And Adam made the delivery. Glory be to God. Now, also in the Good News Bible, it says, this is verse 6, also Luke 4 and 6. It says, I will give you all this power and all this wealth. The devil told him, it has, it has all been handed over to me, and I can give it to anyone I choose. So the devil is saying that it was handed over to him. Adam gave it over to him. Glory be to God. And so, uh, but we know Jesus did not yield to this. Amen. Because uh, he, he would serve the Lord uh, God. He, Jesus, and Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thy serve. Now, again, don't blame God. Well, why are all these things happening? It was really because of the fall of mankind. And in John uh, 10 and 10, it says, The thief cometh not but but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. See, the devil is the one that comes to steal, kill. All those young people that was that was killed there in Texas, that was not God's work. That was not the hand of God. That was the hand of the devil. He's the one that comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. This devastated. Oh, my goodness. It's not the work of God. Amen. See, you know one of the big mistakes that people make? They just believe that God is in charge or in control of everything. Now, I know I'm going to say some things that may 
may hurt or step on somebody's toes. They believe, many people believe that nothing happens except God wills it to happen. Thanks of God, that cannot be true. We just read that every good and perfect gift comes from above. God is not the one behind wars. God is not the one behind murdering and killing. He's not the author of that. See, I even heard uh, one preacher say it, before the devil can do anything, he has to have permission from God. Oh, my, 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 my. That's not true. The Bible said Jesus Christ was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Thanks to God, the devil is, is the enemy. God is not giving the enemy of his people authority or, or, or power or to come against or permission to come against his children. It's not so. Don't blame God. God is getting blamed for many, many things that he's not the author of. No wonder people are having a problem today. They can't understand. They don't understand many things that are happening today. Amen. I hate to say it because I'm a preacher myself, but many times from the pulpit, things are being said from the pulpit. It's just not, it's not so. It's not so. Come on now. Amen. So it is the will of God that he said, Jesus said, but I am come that they may have life and that they might have it more abundantly. He came to give us abundant, uh, the abundance of life. Amen. Now I'm going I'm to share these and then I'll stop. Last two verses of scripture. See, if God's will was being done in this earth, now, it, it, and, and it's not. It's not being done. I know the scripture says, thy will be done uh, in earth as it is in heaven. Now, it, many people, and some translation says uh, on earth, but in many cases it says in earth. It's in these earthen vessels of ours. Amen. I believe that's the correct translation, in earth. Now, in First Timothy 2 and 4, it says, um, who, who, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. And so that's God's will, that they have all men to be saved. Now, all men are not being saved, but it's still God's will for all to be saved. And then also in, uh, this is the last verse, Second Peter 3, 9, it says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us, we're not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. See, that's the will of God, that all should be to come to repentance. In other words, what I'm trying to say is that God's will is pretty obvious. The will of God is not being done in every area on this earth. Amen. Okay, so we just thank God. We certainly thank the Lord for each and each and every one tuning in this morning.